Uh, there are many unmet needs, unfortunately, in spite of all the progress that has happened in the field of Parkinson's. And in particular, when people are discussing or talking about the advanced stages of the condition, uh, a mixture of motor and non-motor problems become very, very important. The motor features we know are the fluctuating response to levodopa and other dopaminergic medications and the side effects. Uh, this could culminate in severe on and off phenomenon, particularly people waking up with very severe off periods in the morning, called early morning off, or nighttime problems, uh, difficulty turning in bed, uh, getting up at night to pass here in nocturia, and dyskinesias, of course. But in addition, the major unmet needs remain the fact that we, have, we do not have really good treatment for freezing of gait, we do not have good treatment for fear of falling and actual falls that happen in Parkinson's. And then of course, the whole range of non-motor symptoms which remain poorly researched and therefore treatment is suboptimal. Examples would be, for instance, pain of Parkinson's, depression, anxiety, apathy, as well as dementia, in addition to sleep problems and also sexual problems in Parkinson's. All of these are not properly addressed and remain unmet needs. I think our understanding of Parkinson's also, management of Parkinson's also really advanced in the last 20-25 uh, years and we now know just pharmacological treatment is not enough. And I would argue that multidisciplinary treatment for Parkinson is required really from very early stages of Parkinson's. But the nature of the multidisciplinary management varies. So the multidisciplinary management that you provide in very early stage of Parkinson's might be different to the management that you would provide in the later stages of Parkinson's. The early stages, for instance, perhaps we need to think about diet more, some degree of exercise more, which earlier Parkinson's patients might be more able to do. Uh, doing cognitive training, uh, we know that's beneficial. Uh, in addition to having some regular physiotherapy uh, um, at that stage. Whereas one, when one gets to the more advanced stages, it's to deal with fear of falling, speech and language issues, dribbling of saliva, good uh, care of respiration so the pneumonia uh, occurrence is low, along with bone health, particularly uh, management of osteoporosis so that people don't have falls and fractures. Uh, and in all this regard, again, occupational therapy, speech and language therapy, as well as physiotherapy, along with the input from the nurse specialist who acts as the hub or the liaison person is supremely important.